Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Talks. In today's slice, I'm showing you a time where a boomer was trying to make the argument that he, Gen Xers had it easier. And my dad didn't like that. So here you go. Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Slices. You're Gen X, I'm Gen X, we're Gen X, let's keep going. Rob Winter, you Gen Xers are always complaining about those things that you have no idea uh, us baby boomers could have handled it. Why not you? Start over. Rob Winter says, you Gen Xers are always complaining about those things that you have no idea us that you ha have a uh, cleaning about, things that you have no idea us baby boomers could have handled it. Why not you? Yeah, you have to be more specific than that, Rob. You know, I know you're trying to. Sh I know you're trying to get all Brody up on it, like get all. You're trying to throw your shoulders back um, about boomers. Yeah, I wouldn't do that because as much as they say, well, you Gen Xers had it easy. You had it easy with this and this. They're, and they're mostly wrong. They're mostly wrong. I would. When you were 21 years old, you could work part time at a grocery store and buy a brand new house. Bullshit. Never could happen. However, a lot of the stuff that they accuse boomers of having it easier on is true. Yeah, they get us confused about like that. Oh, you'd have to be specific about the things that Generation X is complaining about that you guys had no problem with dealing with. Because, you know, some of the issues like we were the first generation to go to jail for parenting. Yeah, because everybody wanted to get involved. Counselors and teachers and coaches, everybody wanted to have their say in how our children should be raised. And we were trying to get them to leave us alone and uh, call the cops on your parents. How many baby boomers got the got the cops called on you for their parents? Well, I, you know, I had an Uncle Joe one time, my Uncle Jesse. I had an Uncle Phil one time. Oh, shut up. Don't give me one dumb example. You know, there's there's hundreds of thousands of Generation X parents that got the cops called on because there's people going, you know what, you can call the cops on your parents. If your parents aren't doing this job right, we'll make your parents do the job right. So you call the police and we'll get involved. It never happened with boomers. Now it's just one example, all right? So don't, you, Rob, you're going to have to do more than just throw out a, you know, you guys aren't as tough as you think. Us boomers, we're the tough ones. Mm. Not so much. Now, maybe there might be some tough boomers that were born 1962-ish, 63, 64-ish in there. Yeah, might go along with that. But all you boomers that are born in 45, 1945 to 1955, please. You lived in one of the greatest eras in America's history. Shut up. More prosperity, more opportunity. Money was flowing and cheap to buy. You, I'm just telling you, don't, don't, unless you have some specific grievances, Mr. Rob Winter, I'm going to have to set you on the back burner and continue on with my day. No offense, sir. No offense. I, I have respect for my elders. Just, just ask my brother in law, uh, the Sun Valley Fox. He's really old. I mean, I'm not even sure how old he is. I know, look at, I'm not trying to say anything because I don't, I don't, you know, I don't presume to know um, everything about my brother in law. But that dude is so old when he walks in the sand, he leaves dinosaur tracks. True story. I, I don't even know how to explain it. So, yeah. <laughs>